Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 11th to the 17th of January 2021. So I hope you're well Leo. Let's pull your Angel Answer card and see what we get for you. So message for Leo please, Angel Spirits Guides. What is the message Leo needs to hear for the week? Message Leo needs to hear for the week please. That flew out, so let's go with it. So you're being told to trust. I mean, there's definitely an energy of being watched over, trust, even trust your intuition. And um, very nice energy indeed. So what do we have for Leo, please, for the week? What does Leo need to hear the most? What does Leo need to hear the most? Thank you. Oh, so I'm just going to go with the ones that are turned upright on the table. So we, oh, you've got trust again. You know, I really like the trust energy because it's almost kind of like this mermaid is being held, you know. Um, and then we have contentment towards greater contentment, satisfaction being fulfilled. It feels a really nice energy, Leo. So let's put those there. And we'll pull some cards. I'm going to use the other cards first. So Tarot of Dreams. Let's see what we get for you. I'm going to pull four cards. The first card is your, your current situation. Second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. So what do we have for Leo, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for a lovely Leo, thank you. Okay, so two cards. So I've got the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Swords. And that's in your current situation. So the Magician is your challenge. Interesting. The Eight of Coins is advice from Spirit. And your outcome, Leo, we have the Six of Swords. It's a nice energy, the Six of Swords. Okay, let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message for Leo, please. Angels, spirits, guides, what do we have for Leo? That one wants to come out, so let's go with it. So we have the Five of Cups. The Magician is clarified with the Three of Swords. Eight of Coins is clarified with the Chariot. Very nice energy. And the Three of Coins clarifies the Six of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands. So the message, the King of Swords is a card of a vision, putting something new, a new vision. He's a visionary energy. He sees the big picture, sees the big perspective. He takes a step back, sees his world as it is. You know, there's no rose tinted glasses here. He has full clarity of, of the mind of what he sees. Um, and he sees kind of like all things, the big picture. And from that, he understands how to put plans into action, form strategy, you know, make a plan. And it is definitely this energy of you're being guided towards good luck, good fortune now. But again, this wheel of fortune is endings and beginnings. The feeling that something is at beyond your control, and it is because it's divine orchestration, divine timing, things happening when they're meant to happen. There's a reason why you feel this five of cups, Leo, you know? Because it's almost kind of like now the focus needs to be on moving ahead, moving forward. The Five of Cups is a card of looking back at what's gone. And there's a de definitely an energy of you can't change the past. It can be a card of focusing on the negative. And yet there's still hope in this. There are two cups full. Three cups have broken and spilt on the floor. But there are still two cups fully intact. 
So even in situations of regret, feeling of failure, um, some loss that you might have experienced, it feels some kind of change of fortune is available to you, but it's something to do with putting a plan into action. Now, some of you might be getting professional help. You know, if this was to do with money, career, business, I mean, it could be a recruitment agent or somebody who is helping, you know, you turn your life around, who is of influence turning your life around as well. So there could be somebody with that Aquarius energy, the King of Swords, who is actually a professional advisor of some kind, some kind of capacity, um, who is helping bring this good fortune your way. But otherwise it can be you. Put a plan into action now, because the time feels right. Endings and beginnings. Um, what you put into something now is going to be rewarded. You know, it's that kind of energy. So definitely an energy of now is the time to align with your destiny and move forward. Because there's good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth. It feels in this energy, Three of Swords is a card of, it can be a card of emotional pain. Now, in whatever situation, some of you have been through some kind of emotional pain. Sometimes it can be the heartbreak card in relationships. Um, it can be to do with uh, a truth coming to light that cuts you deeply. And it's very difficult to move on from the Three of Swords because it's that Saturnian testing energy. So it feels in this energy you've been tested, something has tested you, something has hurt you. And it's causing you to look back at the past. Now, it might well be some kind of regret. I mean, sometimes this can be third party situations in relationships. Um, but it feels for some of you now is the time to manifest a new path. And I'm seeing these three swords, the three cups that are broken. I mean, the swords is to do with the mind, the perspective, how we perceive something. The cups is to do with our emotions and feelings. So I see this negative energy dominating, dominating your internal energy. And the message here is now is the time for change, to see the big picture, to get the bigger perspective rather than the immediate consuming energies of these cards. And the magician is somebody who understands that you can't control people. You can't control situations in your external environment, but you can control how it affects you from your internal energy. And the magician is ultimately the mastery of oneself. And he asks you, what do you want to change in your life? Because now is the time to change it. He understands how to transform something negative to something positive. So there's definitely this kind of energy, Leo, of now is the time to turn whatever this negative situation was. I mean, this could be, like I said, could be regret, could be feeling failure, could be some kind of loss. But it feels now is the time the change is available to you. Some good luck, good fortune. And the Eight of Pentacles, I mean, this is very good in terms of money and career. Slow, uh, small steps bring big, giant leaps. You know, it's that kind of energy. Uh, somebody who does something that they enjoy, that they're good at. Uh, it's the patience, perseverance, slowly but surely, bringing financial gain to your situation. It can be through study as well. Um, study giving you some kind of advantage. It can also be about being recognised by other people as well. Uh, being recognised for the skill set that you have and being rewarded accordingly. So it can represent growth in terms of money, career, good luck, good fortune coming your way for that reason. Because the chariot is the card of success. Now, in relationships, if this is to do with relationships, this is a card of overcoming, working through a situation, focusing on an area of your life that you have control about, you know, and slowly but surely bringing that change around by working through something in a practical, positive way. And it's resulting in the victory, overcoming the challenge that you face, overcoming this negativity, because the chariot ultimately can be overcoming the blocks that we we fight ourselves against you know it's that internal energy as much as an external journey it is that internal journey the chariot as well so there's definitely this energy of overcoming whatever you're looking back on this is the fit the shift towards victory and success 
It feels very beautiful. There is definitely an energy of determination, taking the reins of your life, taking charge of something and working through something to bring positive gain. So very good indeed. And I love the way that we have the three cups transferred to this three of pentacles because the three of pentacles, if it's to do with money and career, it's the beginnings of success. I mean, this can be your own business or business partnership. Um, can also be, you know, in terms of uh, money career, it is the card of, of the beginnings of success, certainly in terms of money and career, manifesting success. Um, it can also be rebuilding, you know, rebuilding um, a solid foundation for your life, you know, in order to move forward. But it feels that there is, you're manifesting the beginnings of success here in your own right either recovering from maybe a, a it could be a challenges in a relationship or recovering from a financial difficulty it feels for some of you this is the change of fortune and available to you is the beginnings of good success here so very beautiful it comes after a lot of hard work ten of wands can be a burden but it is the worker energy as well the ten of wands the eight of pentacles putting a lot of effort and hard work and it feels like now there will soon be a release of the burden. There will soon be a release of the pressure that you've been experiencing because it definitely feels like you're building something new in your life, the beginnings of success. And the Six of Swords is, that's what you're moving towards, this Three of, three of Pentacles. You're detaching from troubled times, whatever this Five of Cups, Three of Swords was, and you're moving towards calmer waters. And you know what? There's a great level of contentment here because what has been disruptive energy here, it definitely feels like there's equilibrium being restored here. I like the six, the three, you know, there's, a, there's kind of like the three energy here. But it feels that you have the power to bring transformation to your situation. And if you actually believe you can, you will. And that is the message here. Now is the time to turn something around because the universe is absolutely working with you in tandem. And the Wheel of Fortune is destiny. So if you're asking yourself, could I have changed something? Could I have done something differently? No. No. You have to understand that there is something to do with destiny here. This needed to happen in order to move you forward towards where this is. So it's one of those situations, Leo, that it feels that things were beyond your control because they actually were beyond your control. There is a level of now is the time to look forward, put a new plan into action, take some kind of maybe advice, maybe professional advice where needed, but nevertheless, it's helping you manifest a new path. And the only thing that you need to do now is tap into your resources, your ability, your talents, experience, to actually bring the positive change because success is available to you, most definitely. Very good in terms of money and career, I have to say. Um, a lot of nice pentacles on the table. Wheel of Fortune is very good in terms of money and career as well and opportunity opening up. But it feels the time is right. The time is right to move on from some hurt of the past. Um, and like I said, the cups energy, this could be in terms of love, romance, relationships. You might be focusing on your career for that reason. But nevertheless, positive change is available to you. And a new level of contentment, satisfaction, coming through a difficult situation and putting it behind you. Okay. Final message for Leo, please. Final message for Leo. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> we have wish wisely. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps, practical steps, all these pentacles, um, towards making your dreams come true. And I, I feel this is the beginning of it for you, Leo. This is the beginning of turning your life around. It feels like this is the turning point turning something negative into something positive, and that is the magician. And I love the way that it's, you know, I did say base metal to gold, didn't I? <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all, and I will see you next time. Thank you.